Hi, I'm Calandra Severson, and this is Emily Sinto. And we're here to talk about the Drazi Chaperone, which is going to be 7:30 p.m. April 10th through 12th, and 17th through the 19th, and April 13th and 19th at 2 p.m. So it's coming up here in about a month, and um, we have something kind of extraordinary uh, happening right now with Drazi Chaperone, with actually two of the characters in the show. Um, so what ended up happening was um, there's a little thing we call the Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival that um, people are selected uh, or nominated to go and compete at. Uh, it's an Irene Ryan scholarship. Uh, basically, we go and um, all of us compete with our selected partners. And um, just so happened that uh, myself and my partner, Jordan, Jordan Oxborough, we ended up uh, winning uh, Region 5, and so we're going to the Kennedy, Kennedy Center in, uh, I think we will be performing April 18th on, it's a Friday night, so it's really exciting. So what ended up happening is we had the Drowsy Chaperone auditions, <laughs> and um, uh, I auditioned for Janet, and obviously since uh, the Kennedy Center is during the last weekend of Drowsy, um, I knew that if they were going to use me or Jordan, my partner, they would have to double cast. And it just so happened that we are fortunate enough to bring in this beautiful, talented <laughs> freshman. And she is going to be playing the second weekend as Janet Vandegraaff. First off, Drowsy Chaperone, you need to come see it because it's super, super funny. And um, if you got to see Spam a lot, it's kind of that taste. Super hilarious, witty dumb funny, um, and it's just uh, full of lots of entertaining aspects, dance, music, wonderful acting throughout, mm -hmm. um, and the most fun, quirky characters ever. Um, and what's so great about Jazzy Chaperone, we have such a huge senior class, and of course all these really brilliant, talented underclassmen um, who, unfortunately for Jazzy Chaperone, we have so many, um, there's not really a lead player by any means, there's a lot of supporting mm -hmm. characters. And so it's it's kind of the perfect ideal show for us to be doing um, so that everyone gets to shine a little bit. Um, so Emily, so Callie, <laughs> what has it been like as a freshman? She, by the way, was an entering BFA musical theater uh, freshman, which is awesome. Um, it is not very common at all for MSU to have freshmen as leads. <laughs> so this girl's pretty amazing for the fact that she is Janet Vandergraaff the second weekend. So what has it been like? Uh, this whole process has been, it's been very daunting, but also so extraordinary. And just, I feel so extremely blessed and to be able to share it with someone <laughs> as seasoned as Callie here. It's absolutely fantastic. And the whole cast has been so welcoming because, I mean, it is such a new thing to have this double cast situation and so it's really been a great experience and I am so pleased with how it's turning out and I'm so happy that it's not quite done yet. we still got so much more to do yeah. and it's been really great though. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's really, um, it's been fun too because um, we kind of just like from the get go just started like switching and tag teaming as we call it um, <laughs> during the rehearsal process which has been really really fun and actually like the director was so comfortable with how we were handling it that he just kind of lets us do what we what we do during rehearsals. And um, I don't know if I told you this, but someone told me in one of the uh, staff meetings that he was laughing because he'll look up and then look <laughs> down and it'll be a new Janet. And it's just fun that way. And it's I've never ever done a rehearsal process like this. I know, have you? I I've been understudies before, which is kind of the same thing, but a little bit different because it's. It is different it's because very different. we're learning the part at the same time. We're both playing Janet in the performances. So it's just like, it's really bizarre, but it's really fun too because even though I am a senior, I learn from this girl. It's, it's kind of one of those things where we're learning from each other and uh, discovering things together, which I've never gotten to do, which is really, really cool. Um, and on top of that, it's just a really great way to create friendships and... Um, like I was telling Emily, it's like I'm planning on moving to New York City next year, and it's like 
how cool is it that we can have this friendship? And then when she graduates, she has someone to uh, sleep on a couch Yay. in New York City. <laughs> but um, but the show in it in its entirety is just this goofy, fantastic show with with some heart. Um, I I've been telling a lot of people from like back home where I'm from. Uh, that it's a show that even if you don't like musical theater, you're going to love this, um, just because it's got something for everyone. Uh, so Janet Vandegraaff. <laughs> she's something. <laughs> yeah, she is something. Uh, she's this Broadway star, mm -hmm. and um, she's leaving the Broadway life for a man she really has hardly known for but maybe a few days mm -hmm. uh, because she's fallen madly in love, and they are getting married. And due to this um, interesting event, a lot of things happen <laughs> with a lot of crazy characters. And uh, so, obviously, the title of the show is The Drowsy Chaperone. And uh, Caitlin Dahlquist, who you've all seen in a lot of different shows um, here at MSU, who is also a senior, is playing The Drowsy Chaperone. She's basically like the sidekick to Janet. Mm -hmm. And um, they're best friends. And... Uh, the Drowsy Chaperone is basically um, what Janet was. Uh, she was on the Broadway stage. So she's uh, Patti LuPone, contrary to uh, Sutton Foster, if you will, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> so they have this wonderful, cute friendship, and they have a lot of fun on stage. Um, and then there is Robert's best friend. He's the best man, and that's uh, played by Jake McInerney. Uh, and he's hilarious, and um, just to talk about like how cool it is to go to college for this, um, Jake came to school with no dance training whatsoever, and there's a song called Cold Feet in the show where uh, Sam Stahl, uh, who's playing Robert, uh, the fiancé of Janet Van Graaff, um, they have a tap dance together, and Sam and Jake are just killing it. I do. And well, and Sam didn't have any tap training actually coming to school either. Sam has, um, he's a dance ma dance minor as well as I am, and, uh, but Jake, he is, he really has just like picked it up, and it's just, it's so cool. It's an incredible number. Yeah. It looks it's it's amazing. fantastic, you'd never know. No. So Drowsy Chaperone, what I, how I like to talk about it, it's kind of, it's a show within a show. So it starts with this character, his name is the man in the chair. I like to call him like the ultimate musical theater nerd. And <laughs> yeah. what he does, he narrates throughout the show. So he starts it and he talks about how this is one of his favorite like records. And so he plays it for us. And so the show kind of comes to life in his living room. Mm -hmm. And like I said, he narrates everything and gives you like little backstories on the characters in the show, but also who's playing the characters in the show. And, and so it all kind of connects that way, but yeah. it's really... It's, and and yeah. that's being played by a senior as well, Carter mm -hmm. Allen, um, who fortunately you will all get to be able, um, you'll be able to see him next fall, because he graduates um, next fall, but, um, so technically he's our senior too. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really awesome people in this show. Um, ben Stasny is playing a very... <laughs> um, Interesting character, yeah. Aldolfo, who is very spirited and um, will provide many, many laughs. Um, and um, I'm trying to think of Megan all the people. Gilmore. Yep. Megan Gilmore is playing our beloved old granny in the show, and she is going to make everyone just fall in love with her. Um, and uh, we have this uh, wonderful character named Underling. Um, he's like the sidekick to Megan's character. Yeah. Underlean is the butler. He's, butler he's, the, yeah. he's the one who takes care of the house because um, we're at um, uh, this this beautiful house, and that's what he does. That's his role, but there's a lot more to him. Um, and that's being played by James Ellens. Um, and I'm trying to think of else. Adam Yankovy mm -hmm. is playing a really funny character uh, who is kind of like the guy that plays opposite off of Janet's character in the Broadway shows, and he's trying to convince her to not marry Robert and not give up Broadway. Um, but there's so much more that you just got to come see the show and you'll understand what I'm trying to explain. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a show that you definitely want to see if you want a good laugh. I'm the type of person, for the most part, 
I would say 85% of theater, I want to go and just escape to a different world. And this is such a crazy, fantastic, hilarious world um, that's sure to keep everyone entertained. So even though we are two different people, you absolutely should see both weekends because um, even though I'm a senior and she's a freshman, I've told her many times she would not have gotten this part if not for her talents, and um, she's stunning in this show. Uh, what's so great about Emily and I is uh, through this process, and you can definitely speak to this too, <laughs> but we are so different, but in really good ways that we've been able to kind of take from each other and morph more for Janet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, like, it, it kind of is the same way with one actor doing a character. You take yourself and what you think the character should be, and you put all of that into into a character. And I think it's, it's that, but it's two actors talking about what they think Janet should be like, um, and then just kind of exploring throughout the rehearsals. And it's fun because... Um, you know, I'll watch Emily or she'll watch me and we'll both talk afterwards and we'll be like, oh, yes, we got to keep that part. Mm -hmm. We got to keep this or Nick say on that, you know, and I think that's been a really cool process. I, I don't know if I'll ever get to experience this kind of a thing again, but I'm just so fortunate that I got stuck with such a pleasant, wonderful human being because mm -hmm. otherwise it would have been an interesting process. Been something different. <laughs> but what what has it been like for you? Yeah, it's been it's been absolutely great. And like Kelly was saying, it's been very collaborative. And mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I I learned so much from watching her. And <laughs> I asked her, I think a couple of rehearsals ago, I was like, that was really good. Can I take that and say that for you? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, all all the dances are the same. There are a couple different things because we are two different people and have different abilities. Yeah. Some of the dance stuff. Yeah. Like, like little tricks that each of us can yeah. do that we like, put in. For example, this girl is in extremely flexible. We both can do the splits, but this girl is like uh, like aerialist <laughs> kind of <laughs> flexible. Um, and then you know like so she's doing some fun things um, that maybe I'm not necessarily doing, but um, but then I'll throw in a double pirouette. It's just like it's like putting your own little you know glitter on yeah. it, yep. but still having the same like core her, ground, you know? The ultimate goal is the same of the character. All of yeah. that is, you know, yeah. the same. And, yeah, yeah. little moments of individuality. and Yeah, because yeah. obviously it's important that we do our thing. It's just obviously, like, the, the common goal is that we are Janet Vandergraaf. And we want, we hope that people come to both shows and don't go, well, that's really weird. It was two completely different shows. Mm -hmm. We want it to be that it's it's the same show, but how cool is it that those two people did the same thing and added their own flair? You know what I mean? Like, that kind of yeah. thing. So Yeah, I bless those other actors in the show that have to <laughs> <laughs> deal with two different people. Yeah, um, they've been doing they such a so great good. job. And, and it's not just Emily and I that are switching off. It's also Jordan Oxborough and Mark Deal. Mm -hmm. um, Jordan was the partner that, I, that I'm taking to the Kennedy Center with me. Um, and Mark is a wonderful, talented actor here from MSU, and they're both playing um, one of the gangsters. Um, and so they'll be doing the same exact thing for the first weekend and the second weekend, and it's the same It's the same goal. It's have the same character, essentially, with our own little twist, if you will. We don't want to stray away from the, the common goal of the show, you know, obviously, so... But I think it's going really, really well, and um, I do think this is something that um, after they've been able to accomplish this kind of crazy new thing, having a double casting, I think they won't be afraid to do it again if, if they need be, so it's, it's really cool. I'm happy that we've gotten to have this opportunity. And like I was telling Emily, um, after the cast list went up, I just the opportunity for her as a freshman to be able to do this is extraordinary. I just, I think it's the coolest thing um, because it's been such a good learning experience for both of us. And um, I think about myself as a freshman, like I came in and I played uh, Pop and Liz um, in Chicago, which was one of the cell block girls. And um, it was a, a supporting ro role. It was basically ensemble other than the cell block uh, tango number. Um, and then I was an usherette in the producers, but I can't even imagine to have the opportunity to play a lead as an incoming freshman. 
And I told her, like, one of the best experiences you're going to have is um, the one-on-one -on -one experience with our wonderful director, Dr. Paul J. Hustles. Um, he's amazing and such a wonderful director to work with. And, you know, she's going to have him in so many classes, you know, coming up her sophomore, junior, senior year, and to have this experience so early on. <laughs> yes, freshman year has been completely fantastic. The program and everyone in it and the faculty that I get to work with are all extremely qualified and talented and just delightful to work with, so that's been great. Uh, earlier this year, I was in the ensemble of Les Mis when I got to meet this girl, uh, which was great. And also, to be cast as a freshman in a main stage show, too. It's like, I've been here for two weeks, and it was really an exciting time. Um, and so that was just absolutely wonderful. And then I was also a part of the children's touring theater production of Escape to Wonderland, and I got to play the Queen of Hearts. So it was that was a great experience, and so many talented freshmen, and we had um, great people writing the show and everyone helping together with it. And so that was amazing, and that just ended. It's kind of sad, but it was wonderful to play such a deliciously evil character <laughs> and then to go play someone like Janet who's so bubbly and just full of life mm -hmm. and it's been really great and then this I was blessed with playing Janet and it's a great way to end my freshman year and I'm just so fortunate and I hope that wonderful things can happen in the future as well but I mean <laughs> I'm gonna take every day <laughs> yeah. and I feel so blessed with it and it's just I couldn't be more thankful. And she also, um, she grew up in the cities, um, and she went to performing arts high school. And so um, one of the, the unique things about Emily is she came in here having worked for professional theater companies. So um, with that, I think she um, she has already started to develop her, her craft a lot earlier than most people that come in as a freshman. And so, um, what were some of the shows that you got to do um, before you came here? Uh, I've worked, like she said, wonderful theater companies in the Twin Cities. I've done two productions at the Minneapolis Children's Theater. I did Wizard of Oz there and Buccaneers there. I did a show called This Side of Paradise at the History Theater in St. Paul, which was a wonderful story about the lives of F. Scott and Zelda Fitzgerald. So that was incredible to do, and I've worked at stages and just wonderful community theaters and just everything. But that was, it's nice, and it, it was good. It was so fun. Well, <laughs> yeah, was. totally. I'm like, look at it, I'm like, holy crap, that's so awesome. Uh, just because you, not every young person in mm. high school gets that opportunity, and for her being, you know, from the city, it just kind of presented a wonderful venue for you to explore your arts, and, and now look at her. She's a freshman, and she's playing <laughs> the lead.